up everybody bad jack jw coming to you with another gun review and here we have the taurus pt247 two-tone this is neat all right let's take a look at it thanks for clicking on this video thanks for being a subscriber and let's make sure that uh, we're not loaded okay all right so this is called the pt247 pro ds double strike so meaning if you um have for some reason one that doesn't go off you can actually go ahead and pull it again okay that's kind of what that stands for is these things were introduced in 2004 and they're still being produced uh, you know even I heard that one of the OSS models was uh, in a tryout for the US SOLCOM um, it didn't get a you know don't quote me on the facts on that but it's something about it anyway but these things are fairly cool um, I tell you right now the grip on it is is really nice I mean very nice they got the grip right on this thing I you know I really like the way this kind of scoops in a little bit further and you're able to get your hand deeper in there I don't know it just it, it feels nice it really does in comparison to um, some of the other guns right <laughs> of course so this is a polymer wonder type uh, pistol as that's kind of what the new uh, standard is coming to right in firearms this is the two-tone type style I'm not the biggest fan of two-tone guns I, I must say I'm not the biggest fan and some of you are probably going, well, why'd you buy it well this is a loan uh, fan uh, loan lent this to us for a review so we're definitely going to check it out now some of you um, have been asking about the takedown and uh, showing the insides of these things when we do these reviews so we'll get to that if you notice there's three controls there okay so this is for the takedown this is your slide lock or slide release and your safety and so this does have a safety um, unlike some of the other ones uh, like most notably the Glocks don't have like a manual safety except for that little trigger pin there you go okay so let's compare this thing in size all right back the uh, camera up just a little bit Okay, here's my Glock 23, okay, let's just look at the, uh, we'll go ahead and carefully set this thing on top of it, okay, and it's about the same size, even the grip, you know, of course you have this uh, right here sticking out, but even the grip, let's, um, let's go ahead and uh, do this. So there you can see, actually, just a tad longer here, maybe on the, on the Taurus, but not much. But I very identical to, I mean, that's pretty much what you can expect, is this thing to be pretty close to Glock 23 or Glock 19 in size. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's look at it compared to a little bit bigger of a gun, the uh, Beretta 92. Okay, and now the Beretta 92, given it's a, it's a big 9mm, um, you can actually see here we'll do this on this one. Okay, you can see, you know, it, it's, the Beretta is significantly larger, not too much, but uh, pretty much a much bigger gun. Okay. I've got a bug on here. All right, let's get that out of here. All right, so let's look at it compared it to a standard 1911 just for kicks. We are not loaded. Let's look at it uh, in comparison to a full size 1911. Okay, and I know it's almost like comparing, uh, you know. Some people, how dare you compare a polymer gun to a 1911? <laughs> no, I love I love these polymer wonders. I think uh, there's something to be said about them. There's not, you know, I mean, it, all these manufacturers making them, uh, Glock leading the way, and you got so many people making it and doing it, and uh, how many police forces and whatnot carrying them. It can't all be bad, right? <laughs> okay, so let's take this thing down. Let's just go ahead and show you. So we lock the uh, slide to the rear, and let's make sure I can do this, right? If I remember. Okay, so you move that down. 
trying to remember this as we go along. And you just pull this out. Just like that. This actually reminds me a lot like the kel -Tec, the P11 that we reviewed. It reminds me of that. But this is much easier, it seemed, to, to do. All right, so from there, just go ahead and release the slide. Pull the trigger, just snap it out, um, strike it out, and there it goes. Okay, so actually, let's look at this, the internals here. You know, in a way, it almost looks, you know, when I see some of this stuff here, it reminds me a little bit of the Beretta. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Just because it, it does remind me a little bit of that. Where you see some of the similarities. Not much, but just some. Okay, of course the Beretta is a more of a closer copy to the P38. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab the Glock. You know, pretty much Glock. A lot of these guns are, you know, pretty similar. You can pretty much pop them open and see a lot of identical things. And let's look at the slide. There's the striker and everything. The firing pin block, striker block, in comparison to the Glock. Okay. Spring looks very familiar. Now that's interesting, you know, considering that uh, Glocks are just starting to change over. Uh, most of the Gen 4s have this dual spring here like this, okay? And I know the baby Glocks always had that, but the uh, I know the Gen 4s are now all incorporating this style spring, and uh, this one seems to have always been there. And other designs of other pistols, it's interesting. To me, I'm not, you know, again, I'm not a professional, but, you know, we're just kind of going over it and looking at it, and uh, from a, uh, just an average Joe like me, <laughs> that's neat, that's a little bit different, that almost reminds me of the Browning High Power, a little bit, let's see, let's compare it, let's see, what this is of course my Alpha Wolf barrel, so, hmm, pretty neat, huh? Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put it back together if we can manage to do so. All right, get that thing down in there. Okay. All right. And then you gotta get that, that spring right there pushed down on there, okay? Fairly easy to put that, you know, I was a little bit concerned with that when I first saw that that was the, the way it came apart. I, um, I was a little concerned with how easy it was, and it's fairly easy, it, uh, even for me, which I, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so um, used to a Glock where it's just, I mean, it really makes it so much easier. We just snap that thing back together. You know, just like, and you're done. <laughs> and so if there was a negative that I don't like is I do not like the fact that that is something that comes out. Uh, you know, that it it's something that can come out and possibly lose if you're, you know, whatever. But, you know, it, that's kind of a thing where you're like, well, you know, are we, you know, what are we really doing with the pistol and all that kind of stuff. So anyway. It's not too much of a big deal, but it does have these indentations here, scalloping if you would, you know. It's a nice thumb index for grip, you know, I'm a lefty, so, but, you know, it's a nice thumb index. So, nice serrations. Now, I know that, I actually, 
you know, I have friends that say that they, uh, mostly on the 1911, that they accidentally possibly put it on safe while, while holding it on this grip. You see? You know? Um, like for me with 1911s, like, well, of course I'm a lefty so it doesn't really bother me, but on my Kimber, I have an ambidextrous safety. I've actually learned to just rest my thumb really on it if I'm firing. That's kind of what I've done, I, you know, whatever, <laughs> to each their own, but that's where they stake the, uh, the extractor. Nice, so let's take a look at the sights. Pretty decent three dot system. Nice and wide, acquire it pretty easily. So nice rail we got here. Front is not checkered. Now, some people like to um, put their finger in, on that trigger guard there. Um, like the Glock is checkered, as we know. And so is the um, Beretta. At least mine is. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, there it is. The Taurus PT247 Pro DS Double Strike. Okay, really cool gun. Um, again, I'll say on the grip, you know, just that is really nice. I like that. You know, they definitely, and these are budget guns, you know, and they, they work really well. I mean, you can get, get them fairly cheap. Gun broker is usually where I shop around for stuff like this. And, you know, I'm really impressed with it. I'm very impressed. It's like, that's why I start really liking a lot of these guns that fall into that middle range. Um, it seems like, you know, the standard is like the five to $600 range in there, sometimes creeping up to seven and you're, and you're getting a really good quality gun. Um, but, you know, you get these ones like this that I feel are like sleepers, you know, they come in at the $400 range and they are excellent pistols, you know? Um, you know, so I, I, again, you know, the, the grip really does it for me. I really like that. The sights are nice, you know, so, and you got that double strike feature, really neat. Anyway, there it is. Uh, nothing fancy, just a average kind of a, a Joe review for me. You know, there it is. Just, you know, just an average dude, just checking it out, showing it to you up close here in HD. Anyway, hopefully you like the review. <laughs> All right, Bad Jack JW, and I'm signing out for now. Catch us later on another video.